2003 Kia here. I'm going to take off the uh, plastic piece around the head unit to show you uh, how to kind of take off the head unit, put a new one in, or whatever you want to do with it. Um, three tools that um, I used is a putty knife, um, the little uh, trim remover tool. This is optional. Um, you can use a flathead screwdriver if you want, other than a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, also very helpful. The uh, first thing I did is I used the putty knife um, and you just kind of get up in here and there's three little tabs at the top. You can kind of see there's one, there's two, there's three. I like to use this little tool here now to just kind of really make sure it's out. Then as you're going along the side, you can use this as well and then the whole thing should just kind of come out oh get the ashtray out it slides right out and then you just put one finger here and pull that out i think that's what was holding it up and then this plastic piece comes off and then there's a clip at the top press it in with your thumb pull it out you should have now enough access to uh, remove the four Phillips head screw bolts um, and if that's the case you can do that but if you really want to take off um, the cigarette charger outlet you just pull these little clips back and off and then the only thing left is your little light here I would just put it down out of the way but if you really want to you pull the little clip right there and it comes right out and that gives you full access even if you want to change out um, any of the other parts on here like uh, little control knobs you can do that as well taking out the four bolts is pretty easy you just sit there and you just take them and you spin them out it's kind of hard at the beginning but then you do that to one two three and four. These four bolts are out. This whole piece will come forward and on the back um, all you have is that one connector and so it, the one connector here you just pull it right out and that's all you have on this head unit and then the head unit is out and if you want you can save a little plastic piece and reuse it um, but most of the kits you get will have something else. Um, and then reinstall is just as easy it's just Simply putting your new head unit back on, putting this in, put the four screws in, reconnect all the stuff that you disconnected, um, put it back in, make sure you put your caution light back on. That one's the easy one to forget, I think. Um, and then just kind of secure it in there and you're all done. The note when taking out um, the head unit is that it does have the antenna here. Uh, when you pull it out though, it just kind of sits back in there. It's not that long on this vehicle, so make sure you plug that in when you put in your new head unit as well. I also want to show you how you can take this off as well. Um, your controls for AC and heat and defrost. Um, again, it's just four screws um, with a Phillips screwdriver, and you just take those off. Once you have the four bolts off, the first thing to do is the center one. Um, you need to grab and press right here and pull that out. That connector's out, and then these other two connectors are going to be much more difficult. You've got so this one that changes the direction um, as you see it's got the cable going back into there and you can kind of reach your hand back under here I don't know if you'll be able to see it but you can disconnect it I'll show you from a better angle in a second this gets pressed up back here and slides off your angle um, you can see this little thing right here it just pulls out there and then it slides off you may have to get some kind of tool because um, it's got little pressers here so I'm gonna get a tool once you have it off this um, you have to condense that down I just use this little tool and then you just slide it right off and that one's out this other one's a little more difficult you got to get off um, your glove box here this way I found to get off the glove box is just kind of pull one of these sides and then that releases down and there's the cord you're looking for and you're just going to kind of run it back and through to figure out where it's going to you 
would have access to it through the glove box, but that's not right. Even though it was just something easy to take off, it also help us see in a second. Um, these things just pop off by pressing this right here. And I'll show you down here on the second one. I believe this is how we're gonna get down and get to see that. This is just a flathead screwdriver. Just gonna pop that out. And somehow this little piece should a couple clips on it should release and then we should be able to go down here and bam right there it is so again you're gonna put your finger pop that off and then uh, get your tool and just kind of slide it off nope thought I had it and I didn't and then you can take the whole there's one more clip. Oh, I'm just gonna do it up here because it's gonna be easier. And there you go, you got that out. If one of them's broken, you can fix it on the back or get a whole new unit.